We explain the 1915 World Series. Connie Mack's A's were cratered this season by the sell-off of the team, ending up 58 and a half games behind the 101 game winning Red Sox. The Miracle Braves also faded in the National League, so 1915 would also see two teams from Boston and Philly, just from the opposite leagues, the Red Sox in their third appearance and the Phillies in their first appearance. Also appearing for the first time in that series was a young Red Sox pitcher named George Herman Ruth, who had won 18 games that season. In another fun twist to the mirroring of the 1915 series, the Red Sox would play at Braves Field instead of Fenway to handle the crowds. Philly great Grover Cleveland Alexander would lead the team to a victory in Game 1 and force Babe Ruth into a ninth inning ground out in his only series appearance. Game 2 was historic as it was attended by President Wilson, the first presidential visit to a World Series. It's been reported that this may be the possible moment when baseball was officially vindicated as the national pastime. Stadium logistics again played a crucial role as Harry Hooper from Boston would hit two home runs in Game 5 due to the fact that the Phillies had shortened up the outfield by moving in more seating to cover the crowd size. In Game 3, Cactus Gavi Kravath hit a shot that would have been a home run except for the vastness of the Braves' outfield. The other story of the series was Boston's solid pitching, led by Rube Foster, Dutch Leonard, and Ernie Shore. Leonard retired 20 Phillies in a row in Game 3, and Shore pitched 8 scoreless innings in Game 4. Combined with the home runs of Duffy Lewis and Hooper in Game 5, the Red Sox would take the series 4-1 the second year in a row the Boston team had won. The Phillies would not return again to the series until 1950 and not win until 1980. The Sox would win the following year and 1918 with Ruth becoming a star player. Hall of Famers from the series would include Harry Hooper, Herb Pennock, Babe Ruth, Tris Speaker, Grover Cleveland Alexander, Dave Bancroft, and Epa Rixey.